teardrop actually started in the 1930s. It was uh, put on a magazine, The Popular Mechanics, and it was called a Honeymoon House Trailer. And the guy, Lewis Rogers, built the first teardrop. It was a 4x8 for his new bride. And that started in uh, California. You're off the ground, and it's very easy to maneuver around and when you camp. Yeah, so it's very pretty simple. And the nice part about the teardrop is you hop in it, you drive, you sleep, you eat, you go. There's no, there's no setup, there's no anything. It's, it's enjoying the outdoors versus uh, the actual setup and, and uh, the, the hard part of camping. I wanted to move to Aurelia and buy a hot dog cart and become a beach bum. So I went on Kijiji and I was looking for hot dog carts and then teardrop trailer popped up and I saw my first teardrop trailer and that was, that was pretty much it. I fell in love. But the problem was they wanted so much for these things and I couldn't afford it at the time. So I, uh, I looked online and started my own and I guess the rest is history. We built one, sold it, built one, sold it. Next thing we knew we were getting orders um, faster than we could build. And I'm like, I don't have enough space. I ordered all the trailers for the customers. Our living room was literally full of all everybody's walls and, and, and parts. And then uh, I said, you know what, we got to find ourselves a shop. The utility trailer is manufactured by a trailer manufacturer and from there we build the teardrops from, from the ground up. This is a 5x8, call it diamond in the rough, it's aluminum sidewalls, uh, checker plate roof. Inside, comfortable? <laughs> we have a uh, four and a half inch memory foam and then as you can see on the, uh, in the rear there we have the screen. It's on a piano hinge, it opens and closes so like I said you can have breakfast in bed and uh, then we can also pull out the drawer there. We put on our laptop and we can watch movies. So you've got your curtains for your privacy. And then other nice advantage by, because it's so small, um, we've always found it important to have doors on either side. So you've got uh, your screen on either side. So you've got nice airflow going through. We've got a 100 watt solar panel and it basically powers your two deep cycle marine batteries. And the two deep cycle marine batteries power our 3000 watt inverter. We have two methods of charging the system. You can either do the uh, 100 watt solar panel or we can also do the seven pin trickle charge as well. Um, so if it's not a very sunny day, if it's cloudy, um, you can turn on your car and your alternator will charge your uh, battery at the same time. So that's basically completely off the grid. And the power bar comes to the back. We have the uh, 110 in the, in the rear there. And then we also have the 12 volt uh, plug in the rear galley. The uh, advantage of that is you can plug in uh, an external fan. So basically you can uh, have uh, cool air breezing through. We also have the, uh, the sink. It's, it's also run off the 12 volt system. We've got our, our power light. And like I said, everything uh, here is off the grid. We've got um, 120 pound gas springs, which is 240 pounds of force on either side. And the advantage of that is, um, especially on a windy day, you don't have to worry about the rear galley uh, flying down and hitting you in the head. We've got a customer in uh, Alberta with a Prius, which was a hybrid, uh, half gas, half electric. Um, so basically it's, uh, it's, it's designed and made for smaller vehicles. It's the original, it's the very first trailer that you would pull behind in your vehicle. It's amazing, we, we started in the backyard, one little trailer with a, you know awesome, awesome idea. We just fell in love with the concept. And what's been really cool is the public seems to have embraced that same concept. And uh, it's, it's just really taken off. And uh, who knows what the future's gonna hold.